Please remember, if you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe button. Hi, and welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be installing the Piranha mechanical thumb on my 260B backhoe. I just opened the box, and inside the single box that came, there were three separate boxes. I'm gonna get these opened up, and we'll get it installed. Let's get started. Okay, so I've opened the three boxes and laid each piece on top of the box it came in. Looks like it's just three pieces. You can see the directions there at that right there on top. So let's get it installed on the tractor. Okay, step one is to take and assemble the adjustment arm. And all you do is put the small end into the big end and they want you to pin it all the way tight. like this. Then the bigger end, we're going to remove this bolt. By the way, the directions start by telling you to put your bucket on the ground, feet down, barely touching, because we're going to remove the bucket pin and replace it. Right now, what we're going to do though, is in the factory hole, we're going to install this piece here, I want to put it on this side because that's the side I would get off. And there's two flat washers, one goes on each side. Okay, and then it's going to use a nylon nut. And they want you to tighten it with hand tools because they don't want you to misshape the the dipper arm at all. So what we're going to use is an inch and an eighth socket and an inch and an eighth wrench. snug that up a little more later but we'll see okay, okay so now we're going to remove the pin from the bucket the forward pin so there's a pin here and a pin here that's considered the rear this is considered the forward this has just very little pressure on it so we can get the pin out but it'll also control the bucket from swinging so all you do is there's a 14 millimeter nut and bolt that hold the pin in place. too much pressure on here. So I'm going to start the tractor and just lift it a hair. grabbed a brass punch so it doesn't mark up the pin although you could probably use any punch this really isn't that delicate okay. okay and this was a shim that was on this side oh there's one on each side okay 
Now, we're gonna grab the extra claw. It's a very snug fit. I'm going to reinstall the spacers. slow because I got to get those spaces in the other side too these appear to be some sort of shims that are sized for this Actually lift the bucket up so I can see better. Okay, now the only thing that I should have done and didn't is make sure that. I'm going to have to turn this pin now. So, just a tip. It would have been much easier for me to, to put the hole going in the same direction where to put the bolt back in. Uh, obviously, I didn't, so now i got to turn the pin. Okay, so I just grabbed a pair of channel locks. And I'm going to just guide the pin to where I want it. Nice and easy. I'm using the bolt that came with the kit. And again, this is another nylon nut, and so it'll lock. millimeter I didn't check maybe not yep it is this you can tighten up tight because all this is is a retaining pin I mean a retaining bolt Not 14 still. I think it's this is fractional now. Okay. Well, we're gonna get a different size wrench. Okay, so the new bolt 
replacement bolts, a 916. So you really, it's hard to get a wrench in here, so I just grabbed another socket. A ratchet. Um, this will be an inch and an eighth as well. Okay, so I've tightened it up, and it says it should have friction on it. It'll actually bend the jaw just a little bit, um, and this should hold, which it does without the pin in it. That's the way it's supposed to be. The only thing is it doesn't, just so you know, the nut doesn't quite go all the way in. So I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or not, but that's what they gave me. And now you can adjust it to where you want. and you're ready to use your backhoe with your mechanical thumb. If you like what I showed you and it helped you in any way, please like and subscribe below.